this is an excerpt from chapter one of the book, uh, the person called Hohen Aspeg. A place. God was with me in this place. It is a place that has had many names and has had a presence for centuries. Some have called it a hill, a hump, a mountain. It rises almost 1,200 feet. It is a place that was need used to imprison poets, economists, other political prisoners, soldiers, and persons with tuberculosis. The Nazis murdered Jews here. Terrorists have been imprisoned here. It is surrounded by an abysmal and wide moat, followed by towering walls. It is a place that was not clean or well lit. It is a place of many names. Two examples are Trennenberg, the Mountain of Tears, and Hollenberg, the Mountain of Hell. It is said of this place that those who go up the hill do not come back. It is a short 15-minute drive from Ludwigsburg, Germany, a 30-minute drive from Stuttgart, Germany, and a 90-minute drive from Nuremberg, Germany. Its official title is Hohen Asperg. It is a place of nightmares, not a place of pleasant dreams. I remember this place and how I feared it. When I was but 13, I was a prisoner and celebrated my 13th birthday there. It is, it is there that I became a teenager and was harassed and threatened. In 1972, 26 years later, I was released from, 26 years after I was released from this place, I drove by it. From a distance it came into view, but I did not stop. I really wanted to stop, but I could not. As I went by, I thought, I just can't go back up that hill. I was reminded of the cold, damp cell, and I remembered the hangman's tree. I began to relive my life in this place and my years of nightmares about it. Visions of the large tree, the hangman's tree in the courtyard, flashed through my mind. I remembered being told by my guard, an American soldier, that those who do not obey orders are hung. And if that doesn't work, they're shot, he said. See the bullet marks on the tree? My prison mates included high-ranking German officers suspected of war crimes and other persons who were being denazified. As I passed the place, I said, that's the place where I was thrown into a prison cell. I heard a cell door being shut with a thunderous bang. I thought, I was just a kid and wondered why I was treated like a criminal in that place. I remember that each time I attempted to tell the soldier, I am an American, he re would respond, Shut up, you little Nazi, shut up. For almost four de decades, I questioned my memory about the hangman's tree. I repeatedly asked myself, Was there really a hangman's tree there in that place? Did I dream it? Were there bullet marks on the hangman's tree? that I also imagined those other horrible things. Any time I was out of my cell, I was under the watchful eye of armed guards. Did I dream that my armed guard shouted, Did you see that big tree in the courtyard? It's the hangman's tree. Make sure, the soldier said, that you don't ever take your hands off the top of your head. And when you're out of your cell, when you're out of your cell, the guards escorted me to and from my cell for each meal. I was required to eat in a standing position with armed guards all around me, staring at me, whispering among themselves. I, the prisoner, was required to be silent. I was ever reminded by my guard not to talk to other prisoners while I was eating. He reminded me that I was to eat in silence, and when I was finished to stand there with my hands on my head until I was ordered to move on. Several times I blurted out, Sir, I am an American. The soldier snapped back. Shut, shut up, you Nazi. Remember what I told you about the hangman's tree? As usual, I became fright, frightened and stood there, speechless.